popping. Hey. Welcome to another day on the road. That's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> we are on our way now to Denver from our campsite, mm -hmm. which base camp, family campgrounds loved that campsite. Particularly because one, they had phenomenal Wi-Fi, but two, their bathrooms were immaculate. And I love a good bathroom. And the site felt a little bit more like dispersed camping. So you weren't super close to your, I mean, it was definitely glamping and stuff, but we felt closer, further away from our neighbors. Like we had lots of space, it was very open. Still enjoy the view, nature. Yep, that was a great campsite. Now, like I said, off to Denver, and we are meeting up with one of Rachel's friends, yes. snagging some coffee, and then hopefully he will be able to give us a tip on a short hike we can take before we head off to our next campground. We'll see. Yeah, but Colorado is gorgeous. I wish we had more time. Me too, there are many mountains. Tis election day. Oh, that's right. It is election day. We've not really engaged with it because we already voted before we left. We did, and we are hoping to pass through Denver and be in nice rural Nebraska. We tomorrow. will be in Nebraska tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go get some coffee. Coffee. officially made it to our final campsite in Colorado before we head back to Nebraska, Nebraska tomorrow. And it's still election night. What's that? Where people will get together and vote for a variety of leadership positions within the state and the federal government. So we're trying to stay as updated as we can, but we do know that some of the results will most likely not come in until tomorrow or a few days after. So that's fine. But we're also just trying to enjoy being out in nature because there are pretty much no facilities here except electric. Mm -hmm. Everything is closed due to the end of the season and COVID-19. And we are, I think, one of three campers in this entire campground. And that there are real. 50 slots. So that's a lot of open space. I don't know where they are, actually. We can't even see them. So it's just us and the stars. Pretty great. I'm here for it. It's pretty awesome. And tomorrow, we don't have a whole lot going on just because it is a bit of a longer drive. And now that freaking daylight savings time I think is over, it gets dark at like 5. So we have less time to go on hikes and do cool stuff outside. Well, we do have to get up early and get some work done. So maybe we'll find some adventures tomorrow. So we'll at least try to find one super cool, interesting thing to do tomorrow. We'll see you then. Peace.